days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Well, here's the a, here's a interesting thing. It, it seems to be just a, amazing to me that Jesus... Jesus understands and knows that this whole thing is set up uh, to be realized by way of words yeah. that make possible faith. Yeah. Faith okay. faith. The scriptures always seem to be connected with words. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. With, with, with God saying something. With God speaking something. But, you know, with me, I think it's, I always marvel at when it when Romans says that faith comes by hearing. Yes. 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 And, 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 you know, my question is, comes from where? <laughs> the word of God. Faith comes by hearing. Where it's coming from. Okay, when God is speaking, he said that in that context, when the heart, the condition of man's heart is right, right. And God is speaking. Uh -huh. Now we have the recipe for faith to happen. It is right there that faith has to happen. But also right there is the place where you can harden your heart. You, you, you follow? Yeah, you hard God has somehow, God has somehow came up with a full, a foolproof way because see, you can't counterfeit God speaking. He mm. can't counterfeit his voice. You can't, you can't counterfeit his speaking because this, when, when God speaks, there is something in what God says that ain't in nothing that nobody else can do it. Because I ain't seen nobody else that said that there'd be light and light appear. Yeah. I ain't seen nobody else why they said Lazarus come forth and Lazarus came forth. Right. There is something in, in God with that when he voices and when he speaks that makes possible something that otherwise remains impossible. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. so that's why Jesus keeps putting the emphasis on that. I just thought about this. So when Jesus said, you continue in my word, what were you talking about? That he didn't give them no scripture, did he? Mm -hmm. No, he did. He did. <laughs> mm -hmm. He well, gave us the, the paper with stuff wrote on it, did he? <laughs> oh, yeah. That, so that, that comes to a place where you know, I've been pondering. You can hear a man speak a scripture and then not be the voice of God, and not be the word of God, if that makes sense. No, you, can hear, you can hear a, a person in the pulpit preach a word. You, know, I can, you can read a scripture out, and that scripture is not what God is saying. Just like I can say ABC. But that, that ain't God speaking. It, it, it's, the book, it, it's in the Bible. Yeah, but that my, ain't sheep, my sheep hear my my sheep read my Bible and another Bible they will not follow. No, he didn't my say that. sheep hear my voice and yeah. another voice they will not follow and another they will not follow. Mm -hmm. so there is a real time, real life. There is a real living God that we're following, who actually is talking to us. And I and I pondered this the other day that you can talk to somebody on the other side of the planet via cell phone. And that's just technology man has. How much more so can God communicate to us by virtue of his spirit in real time? So, and the reason I bring this up again, because I can either sit and ponder the scripture and try to figure it out and spend time there. Uh, and I know it says search the scripture, or I can literally ask God to reveal to me what it is mm -hmm. that, you see what I'm saying? Well, I want to make sure because I want to make that's sure that's the place balance. that I'm trying to get. Uh huh. I want to make sure you balance it out because you got to remember, others, others are listening as well. You're not saying put the word of God to the side. No, 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 no by no means. You're, you're just like trying to put it. You're just saying that God is also that that the word is given us, right? But He also yeah. continually give word. You're like it was good, yeah, revealing to you know. A good example is Peter, right? Peter, the word was revealed to Peter. Jesus discerned what Jesus, what Peter said. You are the son of the living God, right? He said, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. But Father revealed it, right? Right, right. Yeah. exactly. That's exactly. amazing because Jesus said, 
I am the way mm -hmm. and the truth yes. and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. Come on now. So Peter actually was able to get the revelation yes, sir. by being and knowing of Christ. Yes. Right. Yes. And so by and in that, and, and this goes back to elder, how how do you know? You know, if if you're if you're in one accord with God, then that is by Jesus. Yes. It's by knowing Jesus. It's by the relationship that you cultivate by knowing who Jesus is. Mm. The Bible says that the knowledge of God in Jesus Christ mm. brings forth everything. Everything. Come on. Just the knowledge of them. Hello. The the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Yes. You, you know what's really funny is like right now we all sitting here and we're literally talking back and forth to each other. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of conversation that it kind of implies that we can have with the Lord Jesus. I mean, with God Himself, mm -hmm. that Jesus Christ literally died for that to restore that relationship so that we can fellowship and exchange ideas and conversations, and sober experiences and stuff like that. So it seems as though. It seems, I remember the one scripture that kind of got me was when he said, I was in, Peter was in Joppa praying. Yeah. When the sheep was let down and he saw the, the unclean animals and so forth and so on. And I thought to myself at that point, I said, Peter walked with Jesus. He was with him for three years. He knew Jesus' manners. He knew Jesus' ways. Why was he praying? Mm. Because. <laughs> There was, there, was, there was, I mean, if he already knew the man, he already knew what he was going to do. He knew him in a closer manner that we know him now. But yet he was praying for something. And and what, I, what, I, what I'm seeing is that uh, this God that we serve abides with us continually. He, he's inside of us. And so we do have a, I, I think now, y'all have to correct me if I'm wrong. We That's do right. have a real-time relationship with him when he imparts or reveals his will to us in any particular situation toward the end that the people are drawn to him. And this, this, and, and, and this is the expectation. Even when we're reading the words, like right now I'm using the English to communicate. You know the words already, but in order for me to convey the idea, I still have to communicate, if that makes sense. Yes, sir. It's almost like, the Bible itself or the scriptures themselves are operating system that God communicates to us through. Yes. What I tell you that, I'm sorry. Go ahead, sir. Well, I, I just wanted to just kind of go back to something because I, I want to try to stay with, uh, if, I think if we're going to get, uh, if we're going to be helped by this, we have to kind of stay with, with, the, with the scriptures. And one of the questions that Jimmy asked earlier was, we were talking about Jesus, somebody, if you continue my word, then shall you be my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And one of the things that he asked is, okay, when he says truth, what is he talking about? Right. I'm about himself. In my mind. He said, my word is spirit, my word. He said, he's true. He said, I'm true. He said that, right? John 14, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. I am the truth. But he, but, but also he says in John chapter six in the same place where he said, uh, "This is the work of God that you believe on Him whom He has sent." Mm -hmm. He also said, "The word that I speak unto you is spirit and life. They are spirit mm -hmm. and they are life." Yes. Now, now, what I'm for what I can know is uh, there's a very, very serious connection between truth yes words yes and reality okay yeah, yeah now let's talk about reality okay <laughs> now now when jesus said he is the truth yes well you you, you gotta really you gotta really kind of go beneath that and say okay what is it what, what okay what do you mean you are the truth <laughs> go ahead come on tell me. What, what are you talking about you are the truth are you telling me you words or but, but when the scripture you choose, so I did with you, you know, years ago, 
we had an assignment. I'm gonna never forget this. We were to come up with a definition of the word true. Okay. And I found that to be one of the most difficult things that I've ever done. Because one of the other things I found out that we don't Somebody's in here? Out of thinking. Okay. So I asked you, what's the mean? Well, how do you define evil? Uh, uh-huh. But 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 in the scripture, when you talk about truth in in in, 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 the, in the Greek. Okay. And not that you can't know this apart from, you know, I ain't saying if you don't you ain't gotta know this, I just looked it up. But 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 truth is always identified with that which has a reality. Okay, okay. Yeah, that, that, that's a, what's the English That's a dictionary. It's, it's, it's a objectively signifying the reality line at the base of any appearance. Okay. So, but but that reality is is lined at the base of things that don't have appearances. Because mm-hmm. in Christ, you see, you have to have the eyes of faith to see the reality that He's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. But you can see these things with the natural eye. Right. And so, I, I think Jesus is really saying is that when he says, I am the truth, yeah. he's saying, I am the divine realities of all that God has ever promised. Yeah. Oh, no. I, I am the reality, really, I, I am the reality of the kingdom. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I, I am everything that God purposed in his heart, everything that God longed for in his heart concerning a people, a king, a kingdom that belongs to him, the reality of all of that is summed up in me and in me alone. Come on. And so I alone can reveal to you, can speak words to you to cause you to be able to have some idea of what that reality is. Come on. Because he kept saying his prayer was like life, right? The kingdom of heaven is life. He always gave parables to tell you when it's life. He's always speaking at a spiritual level. So if Jesus is saying the kingdom is made up of subject, Jesus said, I'm the king. Yes. <laughs> and in me, in me are burst forth all the subjects of the kingdom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything is not in the kingdom, you see, is wrapped up and tied up and sewn up in the person of Jesus. Mm-hmm. And those who believe his word can begin to have some idea of what this kingdom reality is all about. Yeah. So when he said that I am the truth, yes. He, he really talking some very serious things. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. And we shouldn't just we shouldn't just kind of scratch the circle with that. Because mm-hmm. all throughout scripture, he he says, sanctify them in John 17 through thy truth. Yes. Mm, that word is word true. Is true. Yes. That word. But we know that he is described as the living word. Yes, yes he is. is. Absolutely. Yes. So, Absolutely. In this little in this little blip what Jesus is dealing with these disciples and, and the, the basis of truth discipleship is rooted in his saying you're continuous. Yes. That you begin to make touch with these realities of God through what I speak to you, if you continue along those lines. Mm-hmm. And the, what he's what he's focusing the continue, continuous on is your willing not to see what Abraham did, is Abraham believed he acted in an obedient fashion to what he heard. What he heard, what he heard, yeah. See, faith always causes an action to be done in you mm-hmm. and through you. Mm-hmm. So it is, it, it is, it is hearing what God has said, believing what God has said, acting on what God has said, which is really obeying what God has said. Mm-hmm. He said if you do that, uh-huh. you will know. You well, I think if you do that, if you continue along this path, you'll know the truth. The truth you'll know the realities of God. You'll be able to know when you're in that critical time where the signs and wonders are being fulfilled. You'll know whether you're in the last day. Woo. Because the truth will have got in the truth. I see all of these things, the end times and all that stuff is really summed up in him. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I believe that 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 believing, biblical believing, um, there's an implication of obedience in that word. That uh, if you didn't do something, then you really didn't believe. So I believe that biblical believing 
implies that there's also a doing of something. I believe it's all tied into one. And I'll say something, I'll say something, bitch, bitch, you said earlier, never left my mind. And because it's it's him, it's all about him. Yes. Uh, that's to the exclusion of anything else. And so you said something earlier, and, and, and boy, I'm gonna tell you something. I never looked at it from this perspective, but it makes a whole lot of sense in that, you know, for years, the, 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 the churches have been preaching about what you can get, what you can get, prosperity, what you can get, what you can get. Yeah. You know what you said this morning? You said that I think a better perspective is what you're going to have to give up. What are you willing to sacrifice? Yeah. It, it's, it, what are you willing to sacrifice? Because obviously, if you come here knowing it's all about him, that means it ain't about you. So you will have to give up something. Yeah. Uh, your your mindset, your thoughts, your 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 drum major instinct, your 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 thinking. Everything is wrapped up in your world. It's it's not about what you can get. It's it's about what are you willing to sacrifice? Because in that sacrifice, I think it, that's where you're going to make headway, and things are going to be revealed to you by God because of what you're willing to give up for Amen. Him. Yeah. Amen. I that, 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 was that, that sacrifice has a, it had a manifestation, I think. And that, oh yes, sir. Uh, there's something that I, I I've noticed. I'm getting a greater desire to do it. Pray, <laughs> fasting, prayer, meditating on the word. Um, obedience is like, I mean, that's that's of course the, the joint. But to be able to hear from him. Fasting seems to be be uh, beneficial. Uh, studying the word, of course, staying in the word and and meditating on the word, and meditating on Him. Actually, and when I say the word, I mean meditating on the Lord Himself. Yeah. Actually, trying to set aside that time because I was looking at the things that I gave that distracted me from that, and how they did it. Or and I guess God can speak through a, a television sitcom if He wants to. But to purposefully uh, tune my thinking, my activities toward hearing his voice. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Excuse me. I got, I got someone at the door, y'all. Excuse me, one moment. Okay. I'll be right back. Yeah, you know, there's a source behind everything that you hear. Yeah. yeah All that you've spoken has a source yeah, behind. And you can't divorce yourself from that soul. <laughs> no. no. Yeah, it's, 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 that's, what, that's what Jesus said. My sheep hear my voice. And another, they will not follow. Yeah. And what we, we got to be careful in these days. We last the time that we are not because, you see, this pandemic has in one way been a very gracious blessing to me because what, what it has done, it has given me time. That's why I don't have excuses. I ain't got to worry about going to work. I ain't got to worry about going to all these places that I used to want to go and just kind of jump up and go do it, you know, when I really didn't need some, I'll run up to Walmart anyway. But now, I don't go up to Walmart unless I absolutely have to. Come on. I ain't going to Walmart unless I absolutely got to go to Walmart. I got mm. plenty of time on my head. Woo. Yeah. 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 Uh, it, it, the Bible lets us know that God wants a living sacrifice mm -hmm. yeah you know no and and we are to replicate christ and yes. that we are to sacrifice ourselves for the world as yes. christ sacrificed himself uh -huh. and in that it, it requires some discomfort it, it requires you to give up self self-desire yeah. Self, you know, self initiative, time, uh, and all that food, yes, yes, Participate, participating in certain activities, yes, that the TV, certain types of music, it's it, gonna require it's, a sacrifice. It, it, it's a sacrifice, and and it's not, it's the sheep didn't know. <laughs> what sin they were being sacrificed for. They, they just showed up. I mean, they, they were brought to the slaughter. Okay. <laughs> and and likewise, I think we need to be the same way when it comes to this gospel. Yeah. 
right. You just show up to be sacrificed. You're sacrificing your life yeah. for that individual that you're sharing the gospel with. Yeah. You, 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 you're not, I think, when I think about it, you're not self directed. Um, obedience is better than sacrifice. So when Christ tells us to do something, whether we perceive it as a sacrifice or not, we just sacrifice by will. Mm -hmm. If we, if we're not, if we, if we're in agreement with it, that's a great thing. But if we're not in agreement with it, we still do it. And 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 and, and, and that the sacrifice of Christ's will was made evident in Gethsemane. He didn't want to go to the cross. No. But he said, not my will, but thine will be done. But it was a directed sacrifice. It was something that God himself had ordained and, and had commanded him to do. Yeah. One of the things I find out is that I can do will worship, my own will. I can come up with things that I think are going to really facilitate my usefulness to God, which may just be totally he said, "You tired, mitten, anus. I mean, of tired, and are you tired of common and mitten, anus, or something like that, and forgotten the way your matters." The, these guys had established their own righteousness, and I think sometimes mm -hmm. mm -hmm. fall into that category. It's like, yeah. well, I need to give this up. Well, yeah. did, did the Lord leading you to give that up? Is that something you came up with? Yeah. Let me tell you something. And, and that I become, didn't. Go ahead. I'm sorry. And, and I think the, the fine line has, for me, is like really, man, am I hearing from God? When you tell me not to watch the football game, yeah, or exactly. care whether I watch the football game or not, did I ask? You know what I'm some form of some form of wheel worship ain't doing nothing for you. That's what I'm talking about right there. That one word and that one that one scripture that appears, I think, one time in the Bible where it says wheel worship. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this for the Lord, and the Lord's going to. Ah, what are you, you know, asking me to do, Elder? We 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 tend to. To, to do our worship and our study for self, you know, to 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 get something out of it. You know what I mean? A, a lot of times it's it's to to get something, and I'm not talking about you know to the the uh, name it and claim it, get it. I'm talking about you know to 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 get something personal we're going to give up our time so that i can get something instead of out of love desiring to be in the midst of our father and our lord and savior jesus you know and i always liken it to our first love when we used to just sit on the phone just to be in the prep just to be connected ain't gotta say nothing that's deep ain't gotta you know you don't have to be you just want to be connected because the love you have for that individual yeah better sleep on the phone most of the time yes Th that all right that's it right there brother i, I really think that that's it if, if i can when i get to that point where i just want to be with god you know, i think i will live a ride let me tell you something let me tell you something 